to go to reset. Okay, well, it's right here in front of me. But, hello, mister. Ma'am. Well, I don't know why I said mister. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> I Lieutenant blink at Anderson you. hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Cool. That'll do. Thank you, madam. I have to find his desk. You might be in shock. I am assuming it will make it. The Arctic have reached a new level. Goodbye. Oh, damn. Which one is his desk? Uh, oh, I have to actually search the other desks. Hey, you! Which one is Anderson's desk? Madam? I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Hmm. Thank you. Helpful. I would like to uh, ask around, though. I mean, obviously, people here probably don't like me, right? But... So far, there has been no response from either Brown. Moscow or Washington. Yeah. So, okay, this is literally me just checking the name tags. Read. Um, who knows? Maybe this becomes important later. Okay. Miller. Hi, Miller. What? Hey, no, but I was gonna... I was gonna talk to you! Miller! Hi, hello, acknowledge me. Notice me, senpai. Friggity frack. Okay, well, I could have talked to him. What about you? Nope. Okay. Bye. You are Wilson. Hi, Wilson. Uh. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, I'm just. I'm check. Why is this one blank? Why is this one blank? Is the new intern gonna sit there eventually? Maybe. Anderson, I found it. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Noon? That's like, what, two hours? Alright, I guess I'm just gonna exercise patience. I don't have coffee, but I came with a backup. <laughs> Root beer. Ah! It tastes good. Alright. Exploring new office. Yeah, this is boring. It's boring as shit! I'm gonna explore! Progress the case, go see the- oh. Oh, okay, I can go see the- ah, There we go. What's he listening to? Haha, <laughs> louder than you were expecting? Knights of the Black Death! Dark heavy metal! Crimity Christmas, yo! It's not what I was expecting. Call? I'm not calling anybody. Why would I call somebody? Can I call Anderson and be like, yo, get your ass in here? No. I'm gonna give myself as much time as I can. Um. What about... Oh, another magazine! Yeah, I wanna read it! Okay. Magazine. These are always intriguing. <gasps> oh, no. Carl Manfred, one of Detroit's brightest lights. Famous Detroit painter dies. Oh, how sad. I mean, I knew he died, but still. Reports of famous artist Carl Manfred's death have been confirmed. The coroners described a fatal cardiac event induced by a stressful domestic situation. Manfred's son, Leo, has asked the media to respect the family's privacy at this difficult time. Fuck off, okay? I hate that guy. Carl Manfred rose to fame in the 2020s as a figurehead of neo-symbolism, with powerful and dark works in the mold of Francis Bacon. Ah, interesting. Proliferate years followed until a dark period marked by alcohol and drugs, but the artist had apparently returned to work in recent months. Wait, was he hooked on Red Ice too at one point? Is that how Leo got... I don't know. Is, is, is that how Leo got involved with that stuff? He followed his dad's example? The governor of Detroit expressed her condolences to the family on behalf of the city, describing Manfred as one of Detroit's brightest lights. A collection of uh, Manfred's paintings will be uh, auctioned by his estate in the, in the coming weeks. Yeah, more drug money for Leo, right? Oh, God. Ivanov says, Nit! Russian president responds to Warren's... That's the president, right? Our president? Warning. Cyberlife world's first trillion dollar company. Global population reaches 10 billion. Holy shit! Oh my God. 120 million androids don't help neither, I'm sure. 
Following President Warren's demand that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic immediately, we heard this on the news in, in Carl's house, President Ivanov of Russia has issued a response. Ivanov branded Warren's comments as megaphone diplomacy hmm. and said U.S. saber rattling is the number one threat to stability, stability in the region. Great. The Kremlin produced a detailed statement outlining Russia's claim to the territory, and Ivanov said he would remind President Warren that the United States is subject to UN conventions like everybody else. <laughs> the conflict shows no signs of abating. Swell! So the US and Russia are still at each other's throats. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, well, that was intriguing, to say the least. Uh, I can explore the station. I can go talk to the Deviant, wherever he is. Uh, I don't know where the cell block is back here. Not cell block, but, you know, central holding, I guess? What? I don't remember. Hold on, I want to go up here and take a look at all this. Captain Fowler. Oh, I guess I can't go in there. Okay, so this is Anderson's boss. Look at that. Two contacts online. Seventh precinct area online. 32 units active. Th 56 cases available. Wow. Alright, well, he's off the phone. Can I, can, I, can I go say hi? No? Okay, bye. Don't mind me. Just observing your patterns. Oh, there he is. Okay, um, I... Uh, what else is there to do at his desk? Take any samples yet? Lab report says they cut him with something. Cut him with something? Nice. Call. Oh, there's. There, okay, good. I'm glad I came back. I saw two things, and I wanted to make sure one of them wasn't the headset. Eight clues! Holy shit! Okay, well, I'm really, really glad I came back here. <laughs> of course. 452 calories? Oh my god! Oh, good god. Saturated fatty acids, 13 grams cholesterol. That's crazy how they can tell that just by looking at it. That's pretty crazy, and now I want donuts. <laughs> I really want donuts. We don't bleed the same color. Anti-android slogans. Use your brain, not your android. Android free space. How's my driving? Call 1555. I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's great. Is that a real bumper sticker? Because I want that. <laughs> if you're not a bartender, then go away. Of course, if you have a complaint, please go to hell. Wow, this guy's very passive-aggressive. I'm not grumpy, I just don't like you. No more android. Happy people make me sick. Well, good God. It's like, what were those called again? The little cartoon rabbits that looked really cute and said things like, fuck you. I mean, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised he has anti-android propaganda on his desk, but come on, bruh, he likes me, right? Kind of. Um... I like I like those really condescending stickers. Though. Those are great. Detroit basketball cap. Cotton ninety percent. Man, that thing's gonna shrink. I thought we stopped making things out of cotton so much so they stopped shrinking. But whatever. Okay, I'll research Lieutenant Anderson. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic with a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Oh my god. That's gotta be it, right? All these connections to red ice. Um, it's just a way of sort of showcasing the desperation that human beings have been pushed to because androids are taking all their jobs. They're taking income literally wherever they can find it, and that means drugs. So that's probably it, right? Detective Hank Anderson, a young... How old is this article? 2028. Okay, yeah, it's an old article. So this is what? Mm, eight years old, I think? It's, it's 2036 right now, isn't it? I keep forgetting if it's 2036 or 2038. I'm sorry. But a young but hugely talented detective is said to have been instrumental in the operation which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as model investigative police work. Well, good. Good for you, buddy. How do I... There we go. Okay. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant the next year, mm. becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit police force. 
pretty cool. Good for you, buddy. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile targets and serving as an integral member of the force. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. Hmm, well, I'm glad the booze got in the way. The new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. That didn't happen. He's still a lieutenant. Nearly a ton. A ton? As in literal ton? As in how much is a ton? 2,000 pounds? Holy crap! I don't know what that is in kilograms. Sorry, anyone who is not American watching my show. <laughs> my show? Wow. I've never said that before. Sorry. Nearly a ton of red eyes discovered in the hold of a boat. How is that boat still floating? After a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Wow! That's really a way to showcase the desperation. Like, all, pretty, all humans are doing it almost. Because it's the only place they can find income. Androids aren't going to be drug dealers. So it's the one line of work they can actually get into. Which is sad. Oh, here we go. Jimmy's bar. That's where I found him. Wood and phosphorus. Matches. So he smokes, too? Maybe? He smokes, too? I don't know. Already did that. Coffee! Traces of caffeine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Banzai! It's not. It's Japanese maple. Shishigashira. Shishigashira Shohin. Okay. Cool. He's obviously neglecting it. But he's a busy man, you know? I need two more. I analyzed that, I analyzed that. What do you want from me? Oh, 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 here they are. Hairs. St. Bernard dog? Did they, did, did they like come off his coat? He must have a dog at home, right? And maybe they were on his coat when he sat down in his chair they rubbed off, or maybe he brought his dog to work one day. Bring your dog to work day, who knows? Okay, he has a St. Bernard, that's nice. Red Ice Task Force 2027, multi-department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network dismantle of 2028. A good cop, real police, not seen since 2029? 20, Owes me 50 bucks. Okay, somebody's an asshole. Nice girl. Real police. Prick. Wait, what's that pink thing say? Prick ass something. <laughs> okay. He's labeling all of them like, like you, you're cool, don't like you, you can go die. <laughs> Dude, this isn't your high school yearbook, buddy. You could be more professional than that. Well, I don't know if that's important, but he seems to be on good terms with the captain, if that's who the captain is. I don't know, that picture's eight years old. Sue me, all right? All right, well, I got all the clues, so he was a decorated officer. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again, I Lieutenant. Didn't, I didn't oh, go talk Jesus. to the DJ, damn it. Hank! <laughs> in my office. Oh, maybe I can still go talk, okay. Enter and listen in. Well, is, is talking to the dude still an option? I can. Listen to the briefing, go see the deviant. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he walks up and I'm just like, Hi, Lieutenant, it's good to see you. And he's like, oh, God. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. But okay. Um, I have a choice. I can listen in on Anderson or I can progress the case. Or maybe I can do both. I'll listen, since that's happening right now. The Deviant's not going anywhere. So, okay. I'll, 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 I'll listen in. I'll, I'll go in and talk. I mean, nope. Cut her that way! Don't let me in! Okay. I know. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. Well, that ain't good. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. <laughs> But now, we're getting reports of assaults, and even homicide, like that guy last night. Yeah. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I think it's too late for that. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. I'll Find help! Me. 
Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. I can help you with that. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Wow. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Well, Hank, he you are me. seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Oh, oh huh? no, don't, okay. don't, don't, don't. He's I'll pretend boss, like I didn't buddy. hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Seems like they used Jeffrey, to be on Jesus good terms. Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Yeah. That went well. File I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I can talk to Hank? Close the door on your way out. Okay. Have a nice day, Captain. I just want people to like me. Although, maybe if they don't like me, that's a good sign, because people suck, right? But I don't want them to be mean to me either, so. Uh, I'm gonna go check on the Deviant. I put that up long enough. Put it off long enough. I'm here to do the case thing. So I'm going to do the case thing, and I'm going to talk to the Deviant. Which I wouldn't call the Deviant if I knew his name, and I don't know his name, so whatever, right? Okay. Hi. Can you tell me your name, please? Why do you look mad at me? Stop staring at me. They're going to destroy me. Ah! Uh, it's, it's probable. You gotta be honest with them, bro. They have to analyze your bio components. They need to understand what happened. Probing your memory, which is what he really doesn't want to happen. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. Your name? I'm gonna ask about RA9. What you wrote on the wall, RA9, what does it mean? I should have asked about the statuette. Fuck. I'm going to die. He's not gonna tell me anyway. Buddy. He's been writing in his cell. Look at that. Oh, he's non-responsive. Well, fuck. Did I did I mess up? I should have asked about the statuette. That's the thing that I unlocked that I could have found that could have given me an edge, and I didn't do it because I'm an idiot. <sighs> buddy. Oh, buddy. I want to be. I I wanted to be honest with him. I don't know who you are. Um, hello. Hey, what? What is he doing? Open the Oh, 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 hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey. Oh, shit, yo, what are you doing? Oh, no, dude, what are you doing? Stop! Stop, stop, stop! Okay. Uh. Oh, that ain't good. Turn this mess off. That's not good. That's not good. Is he dead? Is he dead? Oh, I was honest with him, so he... Mm, no, he killed himself. Bruh, stop pushing me. No, let me... I want to go check on him. Can I check on him, please? I want to check on him. I want to check on him. I want to check on him. He's... He... I told him I, I was honest with him, and he didn't like the answer. By the way, that guy I coaxed into keeping alive, I'm pretty sure he's dead now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead now, and he didn't give me any more information. 
I feel like I messed up. <laughs> um, we gotta be constructive, really bro. Like it's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Ah, <laughs> uh, positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. I'm just repeating myself. Desk? Why would I ask about... Desk? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? The one without the no name tag. No one's using that one. Thank you. Analyze demoncy files. Maybe I should have done that before I went and talked to the dude. Damn it. Oh, I keep feeling like I'm messing up. <laughs> and yet it keeps going. God damn it. All right. Oh, huh. Okay. Um You know what? We're going to get this out of we're going to get this out in the open right now. Just clear the air. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering is there any reason in particular you despise me? Come on, buddy. Yeah. There is think? one. What did I do? <laughs> Tell me what I did. Well, fucking fuck! What did you tell me? Come on, bruh. All right, let's make you feel better and ask about your doggy. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? I, I probed around dog your desk on your chair. I like dogs. <laughs> What's your dog's name? I like dogs. What's it to you? I'm just trying to make conversation. Sumo. Haha, <laughs> sumo. Call him sumo. That's cute, cause he's giant. <laughs> I get it. That's that's adorable. Okay. Um. Let's ask about. Music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. <laughs> it's. Energy. I don't know why this is so amazing. You listen to heavy metal? Well, Sometimes. I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Good, okay. I got the negative thing out of the way, now I'm building it back up. Good, good. Okay. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three point line yesterday. Well, hot diggity. That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh, before I came and interrupted oh. you. Damn it! Oh, fuck! And I gave it away! Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh, I'm so sorry! Okay, um... I really want to keep talking. I want to keep talking. I want to get to know this guy. But I feel like I'm going to make it worse! Um... Hmm, if I bring up Fowler, he's going to not like me. Let's ask about hours. I was wondering... Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? No, I just want to know when I can find you. And... Okay, thank God. Okay, I'm not asking about Fowler. Forget that. He, he's not going to like me even more. All right. Uh, time to start if working. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Okay, great. Thank you. Access. Oh, hello. Disappearance, Gordon Lopez. Case assigned to An Anderson. It's open. It is involving an android. Plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual, usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. Hmm. the pink guy? Because you sure as hell look like him, or at least the same series. Uh, it's an attack on Charles Bell. Claims to have been attacked by an AV500 number 2347778821 model android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. Hmm, so well. Do I get to pick which one I go after? Attack on Sarah Cornwall. See, you look familiar too. I think I walked right by one of you <laughs> trying to get in here. Oh god, this is weird. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP-700. 
The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. God, there's a lot of them. Okay, disappearance. Floyd Mills. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club. Oh. Reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android model. WR-400. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Why did I know that's where that was gonna go? Well, I did read an article about the Eden Club. That more men prefer sex with an android to an actual woman. Maybe he tried to kidnap one. Could be interesting. I'll scan all of them, I guess. 243 files. Oh my god! First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That's Kara! That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Fucking fuck, that's Kara! No, don't go after Kara! Come on, buddy, work with me here. Direct, aggressive, professional. Let's be understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? But I wanna be! Come on, man! I just- Uh, no. Determined. I I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Oh, fuck! That's not where I expected that to go! Listen, asshole. Hey! You me, I throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? Newsflash! Androids ain't the problem. You. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Damn it. I was doing really well with Hank. I'm trying. I'm trying. When it said determined, I thought I meant I was determined to make him feel better. Not determined to piss him off. Okay, but he's still neutral. Okay, hold on. Know your partner. Okay, well, okay. So, just, he doesn't like androids. Really doesn't like androids. Tread carefully. I should have remained professional. But, again, hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? In the Zen Garden, I found Amanda. I talked with her. I found the magic stone? Whatever that is? I arrived at the police station. I found Anderson. Uh, I waited for him, but while doing so, I examined his desk. Android saved in the interrogation. Okay, well, that, that was the last mission. I talked with it. It's self-destructed. That's what that was. He's gone. I lost him. God! Poop! <sighs> I fucked up, didn't I? I messed up. Why was I- why- why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why was I honest with him? He was like, they're gonna kill me, I'm gonna die, and I'm just like, yeah, probably. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I should have been like, no, man, there's a good chance you'll get out of this. So we didn't do- Why did I do that? Oh, I'm so stupid. All right, well, all that happened. Too late. Talk to Hank. Examine the files. Talk about the case. He's mad. Looks like that's kind of supposed to happen. He's mad. And either Hank gets a lead or he doesn't. Oh no, what I said was right. <laughs> what I said was right. Connor and Hank are investigating the murder of Todd and they're coming after Kara and I'm gonna have to decide on whether or not Connor catches her or not. Not gonna let him do it. Not gonna let him do it. Fudge, man! Damn it. <laughs>